What is going on? I'm Zedmod. For those of you new to the channel, that is code Zedmod over in the Creator Boost in every single Supercell game. Enough of that boring junk, though. I have been doing three different tech trees this season. Figured I had this inner dialogue, inner monologue, whatever the heck you want to call it, where I was trying to figure out which tech tree to show you. Then I figured, you know what? I'm just going to show you all three. Then you can see the pros and cons of each of them and then hopefully help you with some decisions. So this one, I went back, got those extra cannons, went back, got those extra flamethrowers. I have shock launchers, do not have Kevin Kavan. I do although have those double shock launchers so so good having four shock launchers and i have maxed my med kits which we talked about i also have maxed my shock launchers right about there by the way when i say we talked about i mean in yesterday's video next on the agenda for me is those rocket choppers right there that building damage right there is tempting. It is darn tempting. With four shock launchers blasting plus the laser, it is very, very tempting. But I know that those shock bombs are there and the artillery is there and extra troop health is there. So five engine rooms, the siren song is calling me. But thankfully, but thankfully, you know what? We'll do an attack here first. As you can see, not doing terribly, terribly, terribly well. Was at my 19 boss battle and then just the bed was filthied. So we are going to jump right in here, get an attack going and show you a couple different things. Now I am using bricks battle orders. Primarily I have seen people who have started to use iron will no cluster grenade at the four engine room level quite yet, but maybe that's coming quick note i would love 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 to be able to have all three of the abilities show up in one attack so that you can use your gunboat energy and spread between the three hero abilities let me know in the comments what you think about that one instant match instant match quick detail for these kind of bases don't drop your heavies i see way too many people dropping their heavies way 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 too soon and i am going to show you the reason for not doing that we're going to get our troops going, then we're going to drop our heavies. Brick coming in a little bit later. You see this? Nice, unmolested, un, I'm going to say unobstructed, but untouched bombardiers coming in with the shots here, just blowing things up without our heavies having any issues whatsoever. Med kits not needing to be used except for right about now as we start to pop mines. Those heavies coming in a little bit later. We save a ton of heavies by dropping them late. That, if there's nothing you take away from this video except for holding off on dropping your heavies, it is worth it to me because not dropping your heavies makes so many things go so, so much smoother. And it keeps your heavies alive. It keeps your heavies rocking and rolling in front of you, which means that those shock launchers can't shock all of your bombardiers. And then we're just going to keep pumping out those med kits. Should be able to get all of these bombardiers right here to distract both of those shock launchers, which means that we can then get our bombardiers onto those engine rooms. And then as soon as that engine room pops, we're going to throw that flare because we don't care about the two shock launchers they're not going to get all of our troops just trying to keep all of those dudes pumping out the bombs and down goes that base 233 decently quick against cocker um cocker coming in gonna get stuck this is where that problem is where you get your troops stuck in that triangle of sh a shock launchers triangle only needing two but we could also have some sort of rhombus type shape Cocker is stuck, and I'm going to avoid every innuendo opportunity, and we are going to switch to a different tech tree just to show you how things are slightly different, but still kind of the same. That was my four engine room base. This is my five, the nakedest five engine room base there is. I don't think you can actually be any more naked. Nothing off the beaten path except for flares needed to get flares that doesn't make the base any less naked though so we're not going to count those ones and then just cruising on in we have got shocks next up after this chest we're going to have artillery and look at that we've got two chests waiting now rocket choppers i gotta admit i am awful with rocket choppers and also i want to throw a quick shout out here is it still in my list Macket 64 spanked me didn't even notice i find that i close the game after i 
absolutely screw up Rocket Choppas. Didn't notice that I had lost to Mackett until he sent me a message and I was very confused. So shout out to Mr. Mackett. Those of you in New Zealand likely have seen him at the top of the leaderboard ranks for years and years and years and years and years. So this person, similarly naked. Now, do I go clockwise or counterclockwise? I'm going to go counterclockwise. We're going counterclockwise. I am going to get Brick. We are going to send her a little teeny, teeny, tiny bit. And then as soon as that machine gun goes down, we are going to flare to that back engine room. Now, Brick's battle orders, does it do a heck of a lot? I mean, maybe our rocket choppers move slightly faster, but let's be honest, rocket choppers are so ridiculously fast already that they're likely not getting a heck. Look at that, just off checking out inside of that engine room, seeing exactly what's going on with uh, the Admiral. Oh, nice shock there, Zed. Now that's where I just suck with rocket choppers. Just making so, so many silly mistakes. I don't think I need to basically flare anything here or shock anything here just need to get all of my rocket choppers moving then we're going to throw a shock there and then out they come three minutes and 12 seconds five engine room play right now is ridiculous and i know people higher up in the diamond range are definitely jesse please be the jesse from small nine i'm um, definitely look where where are you going with heavies there jesse very oh they got they did like a mix drop the reason why I didn't do mix drop is because you can't use flares. So I considered using a mix drop. We were knocking Jesse down to iron. So one of the great, great things about this tech tree <clears throat> is I'm getting fun stuff. I really, really like playing with shocks. Really, really like playing with rocket choppers. We're going to get artillery in one more battle. Then we get more troop health into six engine rooms. And like I said earlier, earlier on, seven engine rooms, you get a doom cannon. You get that stupid useless node which no one's going to get you get another doom cannon you get extra troop health it's going to be super fun plus there's brick so this account is definitely pushing towards this is the big push point for me right there artillery not going to be massive but that troop health going to be huge i think i think i think so two different tech trees both easily into gold kicking people's butts need to rush a little bit more on this account which i find to be a little bit more fun so if you're looking for something quick get into five engine rooms looking for something slow and perhaps you don't have instant training this is my other base now i got comments from at least one of you who have beaten this base by the way lnk.bio slash zmod is a url you should put it in your browser go check it out this is my base at the three engine room level. I am using a combination of Brick when possible and Kavan second wind. I do not have instant training on this account. So throwing in Kavan was a massive, massive improvement. I kept running out of troops. Uh, throwing in Kavan means that I can basically attack until I run out of time and no issues with running out of troops. I'm going to show you one attack here. We're going to do it live, hoping that I can do something decent. We're two for two so far. Good base. Any base with a mortar at the front, well thought out. Any base with a flamethrower at the front, poorly thought out. So we are going to go something like this. I'm kind of tempted to bring brick for this one. You have a prototype. There's your laser. Okay, so we're going to go something like this. We're going to throw the flare because you always, always, always throw a flare when it comes to getting your troops off the boat. That way they don't see how much shorter they walk than the flag. So there is step number one. I assume everyone knows that by this point, but I figured I'd throw it out there. We're going to keep pumping on those... Um, What's the words I'm looking for? Those second wins. Now, second win is going to bring out level one riflemen. Level one riflemen, not super amazing, but at the same time, they do a little bit of damage, more damage than you'd get by not clicking that. And uh, the Crystal Critters actually said the name right for the first time in history, useless. And, oh, they've already retreated. So they tried to heavy rush us. I heavy rushed until I was absolutely blue in the face and just got super frustrated with running out of troops. So I am no longer heavy rushing on this account. I definitely miss heavy rushing because there's a certain bit of uh, fun that comes with heavy rushing. And I, again, just like on that rocket chopper account, I love the rush of adrenaline where either you're going to do a great attack or you're going to absolutely screw up. But um, I have 
closed the force closed the app too many times and been frustrated too many times and running out of troops just straight up sucks so we have gotten rid of the heavy rush gonna keep throwing those med kits out here because we should be able to walk through this my base is gonna stand up for itself and using three boats of heavies and five boats of maxed grenadiers, I'm generally somewhere between, between 2 minutes and 21 and 3 minutes and 0 seconds. Any of those bases where they're just like fully in this back area where you can just drop brick and battle orders and late drop your heavies. Don't just think you can late drop your heavies with bombardiers. With grenadiers it works as well if they've got that line of machine guns or flamethrowers or potentially um, cannons as well. So... We picked up the win, and I want, quickly wanted to show you one attack just so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about here. This is the exact base that I'm talking about. If you see these, you notice the flags are dropped nice and wide, just like when you're attacking on Fang, for example, for those of you who know what I'm talking about. And then the, look at this, the Grenadiers just crushing, 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 getting those flamethrowers health down quickly before the heavies arrive and then we're just going to cruise through this could have used battle orders there as well have used battle orders on a little bit different bases the minefield up the front got me a little bit concerned but that is going to be all my friends three drastically different tech trees all into gold all with their own pros and cons and as you can see here 96 keys so i'll be jumping into four engine room soon and as far as if you're still stuck on that fence of two engine room three engine room or four um, if you're winning at four, sorry, if you're winning at three, stick with it until you can get all the way to those extra four shock launchers. Bombardiers don't do a heck of a lot of good, except unless you're matching against three engine rooms. But um, those four shock launchers are an absolute game changer. So that's what I'm holding off for on this account is tanks, useless, bombardiers, good, but not mind blowing. Those four shock launchers are going to be absolutely game changers, though. So Four different, three different tech trees, couple different opinions. If you have any comments, notice my med kit's not maxed because I am holding out for um, bombardiers. <clears throat> Probably could max them right now. With Kavan, I'm finding it less of an issue though. So that is going to be all for me. Hopefully you got something good out of this. Do consider, like we already talked about, getting Code Zedmod in your creator boost because it does expire. Consider making a second account so you can try a different tech tree next season. And don't forget to keep your submarine diving. There are so, so many good resources available and likely you're just overflowing with gold. So I shall talk to you soon. Do check the description for our task force we are constantly making room for people. We'd love to have you aboard. I'll talk to you soon. I'm Zedmont. Thank you for coming in and liking, sharing, subscribing, telling your aunt to watch this videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. Peace.